Welcome to ABC Adult Bible and Catechism, a summer educational offering of a Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Bismarck, North Dakota. And this week of August 24th, we conclude our uh, discussion of the Lord's Prayer. And um, this ending, sign off, whatever you want to call it, um, is used by some traditions and not others, but I think it's kind of come to, with the ecumenical movement, everybody has learned this. But the thing to kind of keep in mind with this is the now and then. When we talk about this kingdom of God and we use the word forever, um, this now and forever, what are we talking about? What is the promise we are looking for? What is it we are asking for? So kind of keep that in mind. We've talked about the kingdom of God before, but here we're going to bring it to a little bit more um, to a conclusion. Okay, bringing it all together. So let's look at this here. So for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So we've talked about this kingdom of God. Um, how is it that we bring this about? The power of God, we've seen over and over again, and the glory, the presence of God, now and forever. So let's see what we what does this mean. That I should be certain that such petitions are acceptable to and heard by our Father in heaven, for God himself commands us to pray like this and has promised to hear us. So bringing everything together that all those seven petitions that we have already looked at um, are acceptable and that we are commanded by God to do these. And this prayer is a reminder to us of that faithfulness of God in our life, that promise of God in our life. And that God hears us, but maybe more importantly, that we ourselves hear with our voice and, and with everyone's voice, we hear that promise. It gets reinforced as, as we hear it uh, every day, uh, individually or as a group, hearing that. I, I love, I've, I've uh, taught preschool kids this, and when we get to the very end, you start and they're like, can we do our prayer? Can we do our prayer? Um, it's very easy. I mean, usually most kids, if they've been coming to church by the time they're four, three, four years old, they know this prayer just from hearing it every week in church. But we would kind of have some fun with this when we would do the power. We'd, you know, for God is the power. We'd put our arms up like we're strong and the glory and we'd shake our hands in celebration forever and ever. And oh, they just, you know, learn with your body. But we end with amen, amen. Amen means yes, yes. It is going to come about just like this. So it's this whole idea of our trust, our absolute trust in God that he will see this through, that God will see all of these promises through. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that our life is going to be easy, simple, comfortable, that there are those times um, when just life is going to be a, a challenge, a battle. But this prayer is meant to be there for us as a tool to help us be reminded of this. I've. This is one of those things, if you're having a, a, a troubling night, uh, some, you've got troubles on your mind and you're trying to go to sleep and you can't seem to fall asleep. Keep praying the Lord's Prayer. If you fall asleep in the middle of it, say amen in the morning. It's, it's meant to give you comfort. It's meant to give you a reminder of God's interaction in our life. Um, it's, as, it's a solid rock. I mean, you see this uh, type of display often in cemeteries and outside churches and stuff. And as far as I know, nobody kind of objects to um, 
to at least having it writ it written out unlike the 10 commandments seem to get a get a bad rap sometimes but it's that timely reminder to us of God's grace and will in our life it gives us the direction but it also reminds us of God's interaction unconditional love for us so I hope now um, I know myself as I've been speaking the Lord's Prayer now over the last couple months after going through this study I just there there just is a feeling of freshness there's a feeling of new life and of strength when I pray this prayer now because I have now have such a, a, a remind, been reminded of the deeper and wonderful meaning of this. So I uh, uh, hope you've enjoyed it and hope that that renewal continues for you. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.